Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Hope everyone's doing well. Checking in with you this morning. Wanted to cover a couple of things. Tuesday morning, waiting to get ready to go and rock this morning. A little bit of a weather change, but everybody's moving and grooving. So I wanted to talk to you about some things that are going on as we move forward to prepare for or looking at the future trends, what, what may be happening, what market trends may be occurring, so we can start to plan uh, how we want to manage ourselves and our business as we move forward. A couple of things we're probably looking at. We may be looking at upsizing. We had so many people looking at downsizing for a while, but the change in the market and the change in the processes could bring some people to realize they may need just a little more space, that maybe the smaller space wasn't exactly right for how the shifts are going to occur with family coming home or family staying home. Another thing that we were, are looking at for trends could potentially be that multi-generational living. While we know this isn't necessarily a new trend, uh, it's going to probably continue, which means it's going to alter the way that people look at the space that they're currently living in. It could be an opportunity for people to find properties that have a different flow. Also, some another trend that we're kind of looking towards as we begin to come out of or change how we move forward would be that hometown returns. Uh, we've got the economy changing a little bit. So people are returning back to where their homes were or are with their family members. So the properties may need to be or the homes may need to be a little more accommodating or as we see the economy shift, it's going to impact how jobs are locally also. And then the layout changes. All of these impact the layout of a property that a family is going to be occupying or an individual may be occupying. The needs may be changing. Uh, so there may be a need for more than one office space or more adaptable spaces as families come together and stay in one space or as we work from home more frequently. And then, of course, household changes. Unfortunately, as people get locked in or locked up, Sometimes it uh, brings to light some changes that may need to occur in a household. We may see some shifting household changes, which could uh, mean a listing and a possible couple of purchases. How are those household changes going to impact the market? And then how are those household changes going to impact the inventory also? Rental surges. We could see a surge in renting. Uh, so maybe now is the time to consider whether rentals need to be added to your business plan. And then, of course, investor activity. We may see a shift towards a buyer's market uh, as the inventory has increased. We may see a shift towards a, an investor market also. So how are we going to deal with those? Well, the key for you is naturally preparation. This is going to be a key as you start to evaluate or reevaluate your business plans. Things you may want to consider are additional designations or certifications. Take a couple of courses. Um, now's a great time to do that. Get online. We're offering quite a few different courses online, and there are quite a few different courses through RRC, NEFAR, Florida Realtors, National Association of Realtors, additional designations. The only thing I will say about additional designations is please make sure that it's something of interest to you. So if you're going to go out for a green designation, make sure that it's something of interest to you, with you that you can share with your customers. Also, now is the time to really reassess your business plan. What is currently in your business plan? And then, of course, what's working and reaching out to everyone. What's working in your current business plan? What do we need to change? Uh, what do we need to look at? Um, how can we expand our business plan? Or how can we react or proactively look at our shifts in our business plan as the market sh changes and as we move forward in reopening up our economy? And then, of course, it's really this is time to really learn our market, learn the demographics, learn the layout, learn more about the area that you work in. Try to learn two new things about your market that you maybe didn't know before. Maybe it's time to get involved in the in the city. I know that's a challenge, <laughs> but maybe it's time to get involved in the city and make your thoughts and um opportunities known as well as learn where the city is going and what's going to be happening in the market development wise and then evaluate rentals with our rental program it could be a great opportunity to expand your business and create a base of income flow through the rentals so these are some things that i think you may want to take a look at 
as our market continues to change and shift and to look at your business plan and see how you want to do that. I think education is a great way to expand what you're currently doing. So I'm going to create one challenge for you to go out and learn about one thing that uh, interests you and take one class that maybe you had thought about taking. Now is the time to really do that and expand that. Look into one of those designations from NAR and see if there might be something that fits with your business plan or your business flow or a way to adjust your business plan. A lot of these ideas come from an Inman article. If you would like that article, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Be happy to send it to you. You can reach out to me at cleblonde at cbvfl.com or give me a ring at 904-537-6149. We'd love to hear your voice. So take care. Look forward to seeing you soon.